Why to be in meditation? What will I get? What will I achieve by just being aware? First, if you haven't watched the first two parts, watch it first. It would be easier to understand this after watching that. So most of us might get questions that, okay, I will know that there is a bridge between the body and awareness and I'm not the body, I'm awareness. So what? What will I get? What change it will create in my life? And the questions are relevant. But first thing you should always keep in mind is that experiential phenomena cannot be deciphered by intellect. A man who hasn't tasted honey cannot know how it tastes intellectually. It has to be experienced. Meditation practicing awareness is also a phenomenon to be known by experience, not by intellect. Don't get trapped in mind's game. Don't give that much authority to mind. Mind is pro player in deception, you know that very well. Of course, reasoning is tremendously important. We have evolved so much with reasoning, but it has its own limitations too. Reasoning destroys authenticity, beauty, naturalness. Yes, use reasoning, use it totally and fully when use of intellect is required, but don't intrude it in experiential phenomena. But still, the question is interesting and can be answered, can be indicated, but you yourself has to experience the answer. So the first benefit is, the moment you know this reality that there is bridge between body and awareness, you are no more identified with the body. You are no more identified with I and me. And as the identification recedes, the ego dies and with the death of ego, misery disappears. Misery exists with the ego. Misery is there because you are too much attached to the I and me and its wishes. So a meditative person doesn't see problems as misery. He takes them as adventures. He knows that it is the nature of life. Why to be serious about it? Everything changes and everything moves in cycle. Day, night, birth, death, happiness, sadness, pain, pleasure. Everything changes, everything comes, goes, again comes and again goes and so on and on. And this cyclic nature of change is the reason of continuation of life. And this very realization will make you a spectator from a player. Now you are just enjoying the game of life. You realize this that it's all just a drama, a play. Now you are no more attached to the character and this is what actually sannyas is. Second benefit is if you know the art of being totally aware, you will also learn the art of mastery. See what awareness gives. If you are fully aware, you will capture each and every information through all your senses that can be captured. Even if you are just touching a water bottle, you will observe its minute minute details, its shape, its hardness, its temperature, its roughness, where it is rough, where it is smooth, etc. etc. Like this, if you are continuously aware, you will notice every minute and detailed information in your field. And that deep observation will give you abundant knowledge and deep understanding of your field or niche. And ultimately, that deep understanding of your field will make you a master in your field. And the third benefit is, awareness brings totality and totality brings beauty, grace. When you are totally aware and alert in your activities, you will do the activities with totality. For example, if a meditative person is walking and suddenly rain comes, he will not say it is just rain, go find some secure place. No, a meditative person will not waste that beautiful moment. He will enjoy every drop of rain, he will feel how the rain is embracing his body, how the sky is blurring, how he is flowing in wind. He will also observe how the mind is ordering, go find a secure place, you might catch fever, but he will ignore it because 
a meditative person is not a slave of mind rather he is a lover of existence a meditative person will squeeze the present moment totally because he knows very well that the present moment is the only real and living asset he has and fourth benefit is awareness is followed by love and vice versa too love is also followed by awareness so if you are fully aware you will be in love with people plants animals rocks etc you will be in love because there is no ego remain with awareness awareness and love unites you with existence it makes you one with existence and your whole life becomes a bliss with love